everyone, so today I'm going to be really fast because I'm about to leave, but um, Miss the Doll did this video called Pick 4, and she picked 4 out of hair products, nail polishes, high-end, and drugstore makeup products, so I'm just going to run right through them really fast. Okay, so for hair products, my first product is Moroccan Oil Leave-In um, Hair Conditioner. It's amazing. It smells amazing. I've talked about this in my other videos, and this is like the best hair thing that you could ever, could ever use to nourish your hair if you have damaged dry hair. So Moroccan Oil is amazing. It's expensive, but definitely worth the money. Now, the next thing is Tresemme, Tresemme, Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for straight, um, normal, for oily straight to normal hair, because the, um, dry curly one does not work at all, and I have dry curly hair, but this one works extremely well just to do, um, to soak up the oil at your roots and make you look fresher. So this is amazing stuff. I need to buy another one. I'm running out. And the last two products are my Herbal Essences Hydrolicious Reconditioning Shampoo and Conditioner. These are amazing for chemically um, damaged hair. They work wonders. They're amazing, beautiful stuff. Now for nail polishes, um, I'm wearing this on my nails today. Um, Sinful Colors in Rise and Shine, which looks like that. And... Sinful Colors in UFO on top of it for the sparkle. So those are what I'm wearing today, but those aren't my in my top four. My top four for um, top coat is Second Dry by Orly. Um, a lot of people would say Seshvit, but um, that has a chemical in it that causes birth defects, and I'm just not willing to risk any of that. So, Second Dry by Orly is really good. It's animal-free, like, cruelty-free, and amazing stuff, and good stuff. My next favorite is OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark. It's a really dark shade, but it's a really deep shade of purple. So this is really nice. Next, I got a lot of compliments on this color, and this is Essie Mink Muffs, and it's like a taupey brown, which is really pretty. And lastly, it's China Glazed Refresh Mint, which is a really pretty color for the spring and summer. I can't wait to use this again. Okay, now for drugstore makeup, I would have to say all the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows, they're amazing. Definitely go out and purchase some. They're not expensive at all. This one is on Walking on Eggshells, and this is the one I would recommend to most people because th this is the most um, versatile and you could use this every day. The next thing is my L'Oreal Paris Linear Intense Liquid Liner, and along that same line is the eyeliner that's in this. Um, one. This one's a liquid one, the other one's the pencil, and that one's really nice too. So this one has a felt tip like that, and it is amazing, and that's how I, I lined my eyes today. Um, the next thing is my Sonia Kashuk eyeliner in Purple Passion, and it's an insane purple color. It's so pretty, and that's what's on my waterline today beautiful. And last but not least, Revlon Lip Gloss in Lilac Pastel. Beautiful, and it's amazing over Lady Gaga lipstick, the Lady Gaga one, the pink one. And last but not least, my um, high-end makeup, to pick top fours, um, top four. Um, this is my MAC eyeshadow palette. I have three, but this is my neutral palette. And I would have to say all my neutral colors are my first choice. They're amazing. I use them all the time, and it's just beautiful. I'm sorry that this is going to be redundant because MAC is what I usually use all the time. So the next pick would be my MAC Lady Gaga lipstick and also my MAC Viva Glam 5, but that's over there. I forgot to pick it up. So the lipsticks are amazing, and... Third is my MAC Plush Glasses. Amazing stuff. This one is in Big Baby. I love it. It plumps your lips, and it's amazing formula, and I love them. And last but not least, 
Um, my Urban Decay Naked palette. Sorry I keep looking down. My boyfriend's calling me and I have to ignore it because I can't answer right now. I have horrible, I don't even have any editing software. So if you have any recommendations on editing software that I could use, please let me know because I'm dying without it. But anyway, my Urban Decay Naked palette. Amazing. I just got this and it's definitely perfect for everybody. So if you can get the chance to, um, pick one up, definitely do. They have 12 shadows and... They're all beautiful and you could use it every day. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and please subscribe. Sorry that I rushed so much. Okay, bye.